morning. Today we are officially heading out of Iguazu and we are going to Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. We're on our way right now to the airport. Um, I didn't really film too much when we were packing up because I don't know, I just wanted to make sure I had everything together. But yeah, now we're on our way and we're very excited. Iguazu has been so beautiful. It's so jungly here and it's so green. First time for me going to Brazil. First time for Sam, so we're very excited. We keep hearing that Rio is really, really beautiful, so we are very excited to visit. Um, I will try to show you guys as much as I can on this leg of our trip. They do say that Rio can be a little bit dangerous, so I don't know if I'll be able to film all the time everywhere we are, but I will do my best whenever I can. And yeah, we're staying at an Airbnb over there, so I'll give you guys a tour of our place when we're there. Also, Fuzzy and Pink are still drying off from their adventure in the Iwazu Falls. And truly, to be honest with you, they're not smelling too good right now. So I'm airing them out here in this plastic bag. Um, and then as soon as I can, I'm gonna wash them thoroughly because these guys are not looking so hot. But anyways, that's why they're out here with us right now. Because they're so little moist from the waterfalls and I tried my best to get them dry before um, us leaving but it's kind of it was kind of harder to do so this is them <laughs> because we've been just like getting settled and I've actually been needing to work so I've been working and yeah and it's kind of interesting you guys because it's the first time on our trip that we are in a country that does not speak Spanish I don't really know Portuguese at all actually I don't know Portuguese at all Sam doesn't either I do understand some of it because it's very similar to Spanish but obviously I'm not understanding all of the words and so it makes communication so different and it just makes for a greater adventure. It is a little bit of an adjustment for me to be honest because I'm not used to not being able to quickly communicate with people but that's okay. It just means that um, I'm gonna learn some Portuguese on this trip. We've already learned a few words. So obrigado, obrigada is thank you. Uh, agua is the same. Muito obrigado, muito obrigado, thank you very much. Basically, we are still learning. We just know thank you so far. So anyways, it's gonna be an adventure, you guys. Um, I think I mentioned to this to you guys already, but there's a chance that I might not be able to film as frequently here on this trip just because they say that Rio can be a little bit more dangerous. So just putting that out there now. I'll try my best to film whenever I can. And yeah, this is the airport. just get so crazy to do and I would gradually hit the rock get up and go if I knew that someday I'd be back to you that someday it would lead me back to you welcome to Rio de Come, come. There's a little kitchen. 
microwave, refrigerator, glass in the wine glass. Here's our bedroom. We got a little TV, 20, 20 some inch TV maybe. Bathroom. Enough hot water, enough water pressure to get by. Nothing special, but nothing bad. Mm-hmm. No laundry. No laundry. This is our crib in Rio de Janeiro. It is really nice. It is in the center of Copacabana. We're like pretty close to the beach. I think we're like one block away from the beach. So the location is really, really nice. The Airbnb is really nice. I really enjoy it. The only thing that I would say I don't love about this Airbnb is that we don't have a washer. And that's kind of extra important because we just came back from Iwazu and at Iwazu we got soaked. So a lot of our clothes are like really not in the best shape. So we do need to find a laundry soon. Also, Fuzzy and Pink are under the same circumstances. They're not doing very well. But I washed them yesterday. They're now hanging out in the bathrooms or in the um, kitchen sink. So hopefully they'll be good soon. But anyways, that's the only downside I would say about this Airbnb is that we don't have a washer or dryer. But besides that, it's really nice. It's really cozy. We have really tall ceilings. As you can kind of see, I don't know if it's hard to tell on camera, but yeah, we have our living room there. We have a TV. We have a desk that Sam can work out. Work at. We also have a dining table, so if he wants to work here, I'll probably be working on this table. Um, we have this too. We have a really nice kitchen area. It's like. It's not big, but it's also like well spaced out, so it does feel like this place is not so small. And then we have the bedroom here which is a pretty good size like the bed is good the ceilings again are high and the bathroom's good it has good water pressure the heating is good so i think that is like truly a big big win at any place that you can find hot water um for it to feel spacious it's like light and bright in here so i really do like it it's our first day first full day here we basically just uh went outside we walked around just to get to know the neighborhood a little bit it is rainy here in rio right now so it's kind of unfortunate because we wanted to kind of do like the beach thing and everything but it is raining outside so we decided just to kind of come back home just do a little stroll, just kind of see where things are. We exchanged some money. Basically, that's all we've done today. Things that I've noticed so far being in Rio for just a very, very short amount of time, the energy here is so great. You just feel this like electric energy and I absolutely love it. Like again, we're really, really close to the ocean and I love the ocean, so that is amazing. People are out there, people are having a good time. There's a lot of cute little shops. However, I will say it's not the cheapest place to be. That's why we're gonna probably be buying groceries as much as possible um, and cooking when we can. And then of course we are gonna try those amazing dishes because we cannot be in Brazil and not try churrasco, bajuala, and things like that. Like we have to go to places that have these things. But I would say I don't think we're gonna be eating out every day or treating ourselves as much just because it can get pretty expensive here so also Sam and I have been trying to learn some Portuguese because another thing that I've noticed in Brazil it does truly help to know the language because people speak Portuguese not everybody speaks Spanish not everybody speaks English so definitely it is very good to have uh, some por Portuguese knowledge if you do speak Spanish it will be helpful because it is very similar to Spanish but it is different enough where it can get hard to understand. So if you know Portuguese, that is such a good thing. If not, you know, it would be helpful to learn some. At least obrigada, obrigado, um, bom dia, bom, bom dia or bom dia? Bom dia, and then what else? Anyways, little things, Sam and I have been trying to learn. Anyways, I just wanted to give you guys a little house tour and just kind of touch base with you guys. Like I said, I don't know how often I'll be able to show you guys our outside surrounding. However, I am gonna try, I'm gonna do my best. I'm gonna take my camera with me when I can and I'll show you guys as much as possible. All right, you guys, I will see you guys soon.